Welcome back to the Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. Pete Persich here, bringing you film study and coverage of all of the Vikings 2020 draft selections. Once the Vikings got down to the seventh round, they had a number of picks, and the first one that they used was on defensive end for Michigan State, Kenny Willekes. Now, Kenny Willekes is a motor. He's a guy that has a lot of enthusiasm for the game, which is exactly what you'd expect at this time of the draft. You know, you're not going to get your top 40 times. You're going to get the guys that love football, and this guy absolutely loves the game of football. 6'3", 264 pounds, was a walk-on at Michigan State. In fact, won the Burlesworth Trophy in 2019. And I know what you're thinking. What's the Burlesworth Trophy? It's for the nation's best walk-on in the Division I level. So... He's developed himself and developed his skills. Now, I played with a guy who was like that. In fact, he's in the Hall of Fame, but a guy by the name of John, Ran John Randall, who had a hard time getting in the NFL and became one of the best pass rushers uh, ever to play the football game, ever, ever played a game. So you watch this young man on film. He loves the game, and he's very, very good at his technique. He's very, very good with using his hands and he's very good using leverage plays the low pad level these are all the tools that someone like andre patterson is going to look for in a young defensive lineman and try to develop those so kenny willikas with that motor that he has if he puts on some size uh continues to get better at his technique is going to have a chance to be a contributor somewhere along the line with this defensive line group when watching film of kenny willikas a couple things are going to continue to show up number one is his pad level in football, the low man wins, and Kenny's pads are always below the guy that he's going up against. The second thing you're going to see are great hands and great use of leverage. So on this first play, you'll see him line up as a defensive end. They have a tight end in to block, and this is a situation where a defensive end one-on-one -on -one with a tight end, they need to win that battle all the time. But he has a great feel for the rush, meaning when he, get, he gets upfield, he feels the quarterback pull the ball down and try to get through that gap that's showing up right in front of him. And when that happens, he comes underneath right at the right time, and then watch on that tackle. He wraps up, lifts the quarterback up, and puts him on the ground. So those are those little things that guys do that you love to see. But again, a very good feel for pass rush, very good technique. So as a walk-on, you wonder about athleticism. This is a good opportunity to show you what he can do in space. Run outside, he gets underneath, keeps his shoulders square, gets across gets the running back and brings him down to the ground. So a nice open field play, which shows you what he can do in open space. Now this is probably my favorite play that Kenny had, uh, at least that I saw from all last year. First things first, you see him rush and get up field, using that left arm so the tackle can't get to him. But as soon as he feels that running back coming to block him, he knows he's too high and then immediately spins underneath and gets <laughs> And basically, the tackle falls to the ground. That's how top-heavy the tackle was on him. So I'm talking about the, pro the feel for the pocket and the feel for where he is in the rush and always keeping his pads low. Gets in, hits the quarterback from behind. They rule it a fumble, and then he gets up, almost makes the tackle on the fumble recovery. But what a tremendous example of a guy that knows where he is, knows how to pass rush, knows when to come underneath, and uses technique very, very well. A good example of of Kenny inside, you'll see Rutgers has an extra tackle or an extra guard in the game. So there's no tight end. They have an extra lineman. And in this case, pads are low. He stays underneath the taller guard, stays with it, has a good feel for the rush, gets off of blockers. That's another thing that I like to see on a guy is to get off the blockers, know where the ball carrier is, and be over there and get over there and make plays. All right, next play, you'll see Kenny on the right side playing defensive end. The blitz is going to come from the opposite side of the field. So he does a great job of staying outside, but you can see when he locks out on that offensive lineman, you can just see how low his pads are. He gets that left arm right in the chest of the tackle, but he's always got his pads below the offensive tackle. And then right at the top of his drop, he's able to drop his hips, release the pressure, get underneath and get the hands of that lineman off. So this type of ability or the pass rushing technique is going to, I think, bode very, very well for this young man. This is a great example against Maryland of Kenny's outside pass rush ability. This offensive tackle 
barely even gets his hands on him. As soon as the tackle puts his hands out, you can see Kenny use his left arm to bat the outside arm down of the tackle and then the right arm to club and rip and then uses his good hips to get to the back of the offensive lineman and get in on the sack. So you see this kind of over and over again. He's playing against guys that are a lot bigger than him. These offensive linemen, you know, size is a, is a thing. He had 32 reps of 225 though as a bench press, so he's a strong guy. But he's, he's not tying himself up or letting himself get tied up with these bigger bodies. He's using the hands, he's using these techniques to get in the backfield. Another example of great hands. The tackle goes to get his, his hand. The tackle doesn't even, isn't even able to, when he shoots his hands, he puts them out and then Kenny knocks them both away and then slips and gets to the outside and gets to the back. So it's not all about speed. It's about the ability to get around a blocker. Big players make big plays at the right time. So in this case, they're smelling a safety. Watching Kenny on the left side, he dips that shoulder and gets that right arm just underneath the tackle, which keeps the tackle from getting a lot of body weight on him. And then he gets around and not only causes a sack, but gets the ball loose, gets the fumble, and then recovers it in the end zone for a touchdown. So what we call that is the hat trick, the sack, the force fumble, and the touchdown. That's three big, big plays on one play by Kenny Willekes in that situation. And finally, when a defensive end is going against a tight end, that's a battle that you have to win all the time. You cannot let a tight end push around a defensive end. In this case, you'll see him keeping his shoulders square, using those arms, getting across the block, fighting back, and getting in. So he's a very good technique. Not like I said, not a huge guy, not extremely, you know, not not extremely fast or anything else, but he just does everything right, and he needs to to be able to play at this next level.